Hi, this is Patrick Murray of Control House Systems Design. I'd like to walk you through the installer interface of the Code2Go programming suite. Here on the screen we have two X panels, one simulating a TPS6L and the other the setup X panel for the system. On this page we can determine how many sources are in the system up to a number of 10 sources are available with the AES. With the AADS there are six sources or of course you could do less if things are not connected. The number of zones are also set here and here is where it gets interesting. We can have different settings for each source so let's go to the 6L and go to the source select page. This IDOC here is source number one. It actually has the incorrect icon at the moment. So by in the uh, setup X panel, by changing the type, we change the graphic of the button for source one. And not only do we change the graphic, we are also changing what transports will be selected. So for an auxiliary input, selecting that will simply display a message that an auxiliary input has been selected. If we change type uh, source 1 to the FM icon, then the radio transports will be displayed. Same is true for CD, DVD, satellite TV, and so on. So we would like to have a IDOC selected on input 1. So there's the IDOC. We are not currently connected to a system with an iPod dock, but if we were, we would have the controls for the CEN IDOC. Here we also have the opportunity to change the name for this source. So just give it any old name. I'm pressing save and it will display immediately on the touch panels. These settings are saved to a text file so even if the processor reboots or if you load a new program they are still available to the system. And we could do the same for each of the sources in the system. as well as adjust the input level for each source in case the source is a little too loud or a little too low coming into the system. Under the extras menu we have here the opportunity to say if a, an analog video signal is connected to the touch panel in which case this camera button appears so you could put a door camera or something like that in the system and again simply unselect it and the function goes away you can set the default language for all touch panels here and then the user can adjust each panel individually and that is it for the audio section moving over to the rooms here we have the opportunity to select which room we would like to edit. We have room 1 selected and we'd like to change the name. Press save and the name of the room changes in all instances. The main menu is where we select what functions are available in each room. So if we say there are no functions available in room 1, then we will only get the extras, info, and settings options. And we could scroll around and only those three will be available. 
adding audio to this room. We'll make the loudspeaker icon appear. Adding lights. Allow the lights icon to be displayed and of course selected. And the same for Windows. Video and heat are here, but they are not available in the standard system. but can be integrated into larger systems with more processing power. So, further on in the room, we are still in room one, we have some options for the lights. I will select the lighting page so you can see the changes happen as I actuate them. Here, each room can have up to four dim circuits and four switch circuits. And here is where we say what appears on the touch panel. A room with no lights, we would simply uncheck it here and we'd get sent back. So once we select dim circuit, we put one circuit in the room and then we would need to change the name. Adding the second circuit, change the name and save it and so on and so forth up until we've reached the maximum of four circuits. And the same is true for switch circuits. For Windows, we can have up to four window circuits. If more than one window circuit is available in a room, then the All Windows buttons become available so that you can quickly open and close all of the window circuits or address them individually. Here we can change the name for the selected window circuit. Maybe you have shades, maybe you have drapes, whatever is necessary. And for each room, the windows all have the same relay time. So window 1 and 2, by pressing close or open, the relay will remain closed for the amount of time indicated here. We'll make it 45 seconds around there. And there you have it. For any questions, please contact us at info at controlhaus.de.